over the last year or two, we've seen significant changes in financial markets. Interest rates have increased significantly, and I think that's changed kind of the investment landscape a bit. Things are really changing quickly, and we are facing a lot more risks than before. We're seeing a lot of uncertainty in the world um, in different aspects. You know, one dollar yesterday is not one dollar today, right? You can't buy what you have to buy, so inflation is huge. Um, it affects everyone. Maybe there'll be a recession, maybe there won't be. Uh, maybe the economy will pick right back up. So people are not accustomed to evaluating choices against that backdrop. As far as the risk goes, like actuaries are in the business of managing risk, and we're trying to mitigate risk in the future and also trying to take advantage of it in the present. It feels a little bit more turbulent, so trying to prepare there are more things to think about what could change. It's more about taking a longer term view. We had seen interest rates much higher than this years ago and unlikely for us to assume that it's going to go back down to really, really low 0 to 2 percent interest rates. You're better off being more conservative, saving more and assuming that inflation is going to remain. There are actuaries working in investments, working in pensions, so protecting Canadians, as well as influencing policy, which helps as a whole kind of society have a secure financial future. It's beyond the numbers. We're actually making a difference in people's lives. I think we play such a big role in the financial protection of the industry and the communities that we work in that that gives me a lot of hope. We understand retirement, we understand pensions, we understand risk, that we can develop the right tools to help Canadians. There's a lot of smart people invested in it that are helping find the solution, so that's a good thing. That's what keeps me hopeful is that good people will make good decisions and there's a lot of good people out there.